How is it going guys? Mr. Benji here and welcome back to a finally, finally, a brand new video. So in this video what I'm going to be teaching you is how to connect with your friends, to how to play with your friends basically. Not just play on a local network, play over a network so your friends can connect to you, you can connect to your friends and it'll all be a good time. So, before we get started we're going to have to do a couple of things. And first thing we're going to have to do is we're going to have to make sure that your firewall is allowing Unity or anything to do with Unity through its actual firewall itself. So if we go to start and then type firewall and then click advanced settings, what it'll do is it'll pull up your firewalls, inbounds and outbounds basically. What you want to be doing is you want to be going to outbound rules and just double checking. So I've got Unity there, that's cool. If I just go to you, so you see you profile all there's no there's no rules where it's disallowing any connections at all it's all enabled all cool inbound if we go to inbound we'll see unity editor blah 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 if you see like a red cross it means that your computer's not allowing it's not allowing all connections through your computer to unity so if you host a game even if you set up this next part correctly it'll not allow other users to connect to your game basically because when you click host you're not actually hosting a game you're just hosting it on the local network not like not through the network if you make sense so any any person that is on your local network could connect but because your firewalls disallowing connections you can't let other connections connect to you it's it's awkward but basically if you go to your inbound and outbounds and just double check there's no red crosses near any unit here any unity app or anything like that and if there is all you need to do is just click on it and then where it says it'll say like block connections or something like that just allow the connection that is literally it so that's number one that's step number one to getting your friends into your game so step number two is going to Google and typing in what is my IP and it will be the first link. So you just click the first link and then this is the IP address you're going to need to send your friends or for your friends to connect to you. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy and paste that. So you can keep this tab open for now and what I'm going to do is I'm going to click open a new tab, paste my IP address in and it's going to come up with my internet hub settings basically. So what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to port forward the settings so what we're going to need to do again is go to unity and find out what port we need to open and if you go to your network manager in your hierarchy view and go to unit transport you'll see connect ports and server listen ports is 7777 that's the ports we need to open to be able to get your friends to connect to us basically so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to my hub settings go to advanced settings basically what you want to be doing is you want to be going and finding your firewall just because you need to know where uh, you need to know where your port forwarding stuff is and mine's behind the firewall so I'm just going to put my password in and then it's going to bring me up to my port forwarding stuff so what I'm going to need to do next is create a new port forward I'm going to call it just YouTube Tutorial 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 YouTube Tutorial that was a bit weird and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to allow my computer to host the game so I'm going to click my computer as the host and then the external ports 77777, 7777 for the end internal ports, 77777, 77777 and then your protocol, you're going to do tcp dot slash udp, this just opens up both so you don't have to mess about and then click add and then click save and if all goes well it should add it, there we go we've got a nice new YouTube tutorial port forward there so we've saved it we can get out of all that now so what you do need to do again is you need to remember your IP from this what's my IP address because that's again it's what you're gonna need to send to your friends and then in your unit.transport you're gonna go connect address you're gonna paste your IP address in that's that and I'm just gonna open up my other instance of unity just because I've got two instances of unity so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to click save on that save reload and then what's going to happen is if I click play right just to prove that it works what I'm going to do is I'm going to click play 
and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy and paste my actual IP into this box here, which I'm not going to show you guys. And then I'm going to click host. So as you can see, host. And it chucks me into a game. That's that one. All right, we'll go over here. We'll click play. And then again, I'll copy and paste my IP into this box here. I'm not going to show you just for safety purposes. Copy and paste client I'm in so that's that and then over here what we've got is I've got a laptop connected to my phone like so so it's on a different network and then what I want to do is I'm going to get my IP address from this computer so this computer here is a completely different IP to this one so what I want to do is I'm just gonna get my IP address hold on a second now I've got an IP address in so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna click Connect as a client, and as you can see, there's all three of us. Now, if I click L, it's going to make me big. It's made me big on there. If I click L on this game here, it's going to make me big. Boom, it'll make me big on that one. So it's the same game, it's just we're on a different network. Boom, make me big. How are you doing? So, yeah, guys, as you can see, that actually works. I've got different computers, different connections, joining the same game from the same IP. In the next tutorial, what I will do is I'll make it so you can actually input the IP manually. So a friend, if your friend wants to host a game, then all he needs to do is port forward, send you the IP, then you need to put his IP address in. But for the time being, currently, it's just hard coded into the actual game like unit transport itself but I say in the next tutorial we'll cover opening text fields and making it all work absolutely smooth as oh and to be fair I think that went smooth as oh so yeah guys I do hope you have enjoyed this video absolute shambles it is nice little GoPro footage of my computer's set up uh, if you've enjoyed it, do not forget to leave a like if you're new to the channel hit that subscribe button if you have any comments on your life how's your weekend going how's your friday how's your saturday how's your sunday been how are you feeling today leave a comment down below let me know if there's any tutorials you want me to cover uh just leave it to leave a comment down below again i'll i'll be sure to look at them so yeah oh also if you're a new subscriber and you've subscribed in the past i uh, know three months or so i do apologize for the three month hiatus computer has been dead in its scent. There's a previous video, you can go watch that and you can actually see what's been going on. But yeah guys, I've been Mr. Majit. Until the next tutorial, I do hope you have a good day. Thank you very much for watching and peace out.